it's time to start that new sketchbook. It's that moment you've been waiting for. You've been counting down the pages in your previous sketchbook for over a month now, just waiting so you can finally move on to that shiny, crisp, new, untainted book that you just picked up last week. But now what? You're scared? You literally just finished an entire sketchbook just a few days ago. Why are you hesitant? I'm not sure if these are feelings you all experience, but I sure felt that this time. Usually, I don't actually have much of a problem starting sketchbooks because I kind of um, I use them as a journal as well. So not only do I draw in them, but I also write all my feelings out and stuff. So, um, you know, it's nice to have everything in one place. And that way, if I'm, I'm doing one more than the other, I'm not like neglecting a certain book over the other one because they're the same book um but with my last sketchbook um also by the way there will be a sketchbook tour of that in the next few weeks or so so uh look out for that one um but i'm not sure what happened um or i, I kind of do basically um i didn't really feel like i didn't see much improvement uh like i had seen in my previous sketchbooks so i wasn't really satisfied um with the sketchbook as a whole um so with starting this brand new one i felt like i wanted to try and uh, put a little bit more effort into it um and uh maybe not every spread but like a lot of them to be more full and complete and uh coherent <laughs> in a way um but I also decided to uh, buy the drawing version of uh, the Strathmore's sketchbook thing. I had had the mi mixed media one before, but and which which I really liked. But I felt like I was wasting the paper in that one on just like pen drawings and stuff. So, but now I'm I'm realizing I should have just stuck with the mixed media one because this paper does not take water in the slightest. Um, but to be fair, the gouache I'm using today is not high quality at all and I've never claimed to be a painter so I figure this would just be good practice um, though eventually I would love to treat myself to some nice quality paper um, but I'll have to do that uh, once I'm actually able to leave my house again <laughs> um, but anyways like I said, I like to use my sketchbook as a journal as well, and I actually really like to draw what is going on in my life at the moment, so usually that's just a sketch study of the room I'm in, or a self-portrait with the new haircut I just got, or my outfit for the day, or maybe a cute drawing from a date I just went on, um, <laughs> but I'm sure you can guess the theme for this spread, uh, pretty much what's on everyone's mind nowadays, um, Corona, and not, and not the drink. Though I don't like the drink very much either, so, um, at least, at least this virus isn't ruining some favorite drink of mine, <laughs> but, um, but sometimes I, I just want to drink Corona for the memes, but I just don't like the taste. So anyways, I'm getting sidetracked here. Um, so of course, working at a place, um, I work, so I work, my place of work, <laughs> what am I saying? So my place of work is uh, four children. So of course we had to close for a couple weeks, um, and technically actually open up next Saturday. But we shall see if that happens. <laughs> um, and luckily for the two weeks that we did close, um, I'm like an, I'm um, I am amongst pretty much everybody that works there um, is an hourly paid individual. So um, luckily we're all going to be paid <laughs> the two weeks that we're closed but I'm not really sure um, what will happen if we continue to close, you know, longer than that. But I'm in a uh, very fortunate position right now because I'm living with my parents, so it's not like, you know, if I do... So if I am out of work, it's not like I have to pay rent or anything, so I'm actually pretty fortunate in that in that regard. Um, but I also feel like I have to put everything on hold too, because like I'm constantly looking for you know full time jobs in my field and like and and constantly like applying for for different opportunities. But like right now, I feel like um, cause, but right now I feel like I can't even apply anywhere because like no one's really hiring at the moment or i just assume that most i feel like i'm just wasting my time if i send out an application because i'm like are they even going to be able to see this <laughs> like like are they even still looking are they still like holding inter like not in-person interviews obviously but like i don't know like are they even going to be hiring anybody at this point so i feel like 
everything is kind of on hold right now because we're all like confused and we don't know what's happening <laughs> so um because that's like what i had been struggling with the past year was um feeling stuck and not being able to move forward and i actually the last few months i've actually been pretty happy with the job i have right now and uh, my current situation and at least i was always working towards something better but you know now that i can't really or i feel like i can't really send out applications i feel like i can't really move towards something better um and so i'm feeling really stuck um and i haven't really felt like that in a few months and so it's like it's kind of i don't like feeling stuck i like um feeling like i'm i'm moving towards something better and you know moving forward um but fortunately um, I do have my animation I've been working on for several months now, so I'm trying to distract myself with that and less with the negative thoughts because <laughs> I'm very good about I'm very good about thinking negatively. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm trying to focus on my animation as much as possible. Um, and as for this channel, um, I want to be 100% with you guys, like whoever's watching. Um, I want my animation projects to be my top priority. Um, however, I love watching YouTube videos while I work on my own stuff. So I always am like, oh, but that would be so fun to do too, you know? Because <laughs> like I just, I'm, I always have YouTube on the background and stuff. So um, I am still totally interested in doing youtube videos like 100 percent um if, and if anybody is is even even paid attention or noticed um i did take down all um the videos on my channel that had my face in them um one because i just don't really have time to do like the studio vlog type thing even though i love watching studio vlogs um they're just a pain there's just a pain in half honestly because like you know you're just constantly filming throughout the month or throughout the week or whatever um and it's just like I don't want I don't want YouTube to take away from my animation time you know what I mean but like to just do like a one video type thing like this where it's just like um you sit down you film in an afternoon and then you do the voiceover easy peasy easy peasy lemon squeezy you know <laughs> and so um uh so I took down the studio vlogs just cause like, I didn't, um, I just, I thought, you know, might as well. Also, I just kind of felt weird having my face out there. Um, so I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna take them down. They're just privated now. So, um, you know, maybe in the future I'll do videos like that. Cause like I said, I love watching those, but for right now, I think I'm just gonna keep it with uh, these simple videos. Um, so yeah. So as you can see, I did write in this in this spread as well. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to blur out the writing or not. I tried to write small enough so that maybe you guys couldn't actually um, see any of <laughs> or read any of the writing because I don't think honestly nothing super um, nothing is super personal. But I have a few names in there that I would probably just blur out just to be safe. Um, like, I think my workplace. Actually, I don't think I actually used the name of the job, but still, like, uh, some names. <laughs> some people's names I will probably blur out just to be safe. Because um, that's, like, the problem with having a, my sketchbook be a journal as well. Because I don't want to stop doing that. I love, I love doing those things. Um... But also to, like, share your sketchbook on YouTube um, is also kind of a... Uh, um, oh, also, I changed my name to Maya's sketchbook. So, yeah. <laughs> um, if anybody's watching this for the first time, then you never knew anything different. But <laughs> um, I felt like this uh, Maya sketchbook just kind of um, was a little bit more... Um, I guess to the point. It's a little bit more to the point on what uh, this channel is gonna be about. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I guess that's um, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys um, enjoyed, and I will be back with. Um, I filmed um, me biking and then drawing, but there was a lot more people on the path than I was expecting considering this virus and everything so um yeah because i was like i'm gonna go get some fresh air and bike because like that's a safe thing for me to do but then there were so many people 
<laughs> on the path. I'm like, why are there so many people out? So I don't know if I'd feel comfortable going again. Um, and also I just hadn't had, like, I hadn't been around people besides my parents in like five days that like five or six days actually. So like I didn't, I felt a little bit, um, uncomfortable, especially since I had a camera on my head. <laughs> so I don't really like being the center of attention. So I, um, felt very awkward. Like usually I've, I've learned to be able to like draw around people like I can totally do that I can totally draw in like a public area but adding filming myself drawing in a public area oh my oh my god no thank you I can't do that anyways I'll talk about that more on the yeah, that, that video if I actually uh, do um, edit something together because I'm not sure if I got enough footage to make a proper video but we'll see whatever I got maybe it'll just be a short video I don't know but anyways um, that's it for now. I'll have a sketchbook tour up in the next few weeks or so, so look forward to that, and I will see ya, or talk to ya, <laughs> later. Bye, everyone. Stay safe, and wash your hands.